Okay, hi everyone. This is a uh, kind of a funny video, but also just a uh, oh my god video. Now, as you've seen, I've done lots of property video photography, uh, property photography videos, and a lot of them is I'm always in the corner trying to get as wide as possible, get as much detail as possible, make the place look as big and as inviting and as nicely lit as possible. Um, and uh, generally, that's absolutely fine. However. Just had an email from one of my clients, and as I'll say, it, many things is that uh, working for one client is fine. You can tailor everything for that client, no problem. But if you have multiple clients with multiple requests or multiple other clients beyond them, then you have to kind of bend over and you know change the way that you shoot for each individual agent. So it can get very kind of how am I meant to shoot for that agent? How am I meant to shoot for this one? And all that kind of stuff. It's a bit like shooting for. A magazine. If you're shooting for uh, National Geographic, you want certain type of shots. If you're shooting for Vogue, it's a completely different type of shots. But with property, you would think you're shooting for property. It should all be the same, but no, always uh, different every single one. So this one that I got, um, somebody said, could you try and reduce how wide angle the images are as people are turning up to the properties and seeing how disappointed they are as they thought it looked much bigger in the photos? That's, that's, that's a fair point, because whenever I was a property manager as well, I had people come up uh, to the viewing and go, oh man, this, this place isn't as big as it looks in the photos. Whoever took the photos really is a good photographer. It was me. And I'm like, ha ha ha, yes. And then my job was to try and sell them, or at least uh, promote the good aspects of the property, not just the size. So talk about its location, talk about the amenities, talk about uh, the facilities that it's got, all that kind of stuff, and try and sell that way while they're in the house there rather than just focusing on the size of it. Um, it's not like I'm faking a, a third bedroom or a fourth bedroom or anything like that. Um, and they go on to say, there's a fine line between making the properties look as good as possible to draw in inquiries, which is what I do, and ending up with underwhelmed tenants who are let down when they arrive to visit the property. Well, well yeah, yeah, that, that is a... That is, uh, bit of a difficult one there, but it's just kind of like, that's that's just people, really. If, if some people look at a photo and go, oh, that room is massive, and then they go up to the house and go, oh my God, it's not nearly as big as I thought it was. I imagined it be to be huge. Well, that's kind of, that person is just a bit of a, didn't really understand what a photo is or a wide angle photo is. And there's no way that I can really change this. And it was like, well, you want me to, crop in my images and potentially not show a lot of the detail of a room. So for example, I, like just now imagine if I was shooting with this, it would just be like, all you see is a window in this, but it's actually a massive room that I'm in. I don't really know how to answer this one. I've put it on the Facebook uh, fan, fan page, uh, page. So if you could go on there and give me any idea of how you think I should answer this. I'm in the middle of uh, uh, writing out reply, which I'll put down once I've finished it and once I've sent it. But if any of you got any ideas, let me know, because this is real like, yeah, but what do you want me to do? Make the photos look small and, un well, make it well lit and looking good, but you want me to make it look small and cramped. You know, if you have a small and cramped house, what you want is people to go along and see it, because they think it's bigger, but once they're there, they're like, oh man, it's not as big, but oh, it is a good location, I can deal with that. Yeah, and you make them look at other stuff. Having a small house and then taking photos that make it look small is just going to make people kind of go, I don't even want to go and view it, so they never get to see its location, its amenities, its facilities, and all that kind of stuff. Bizarre. Really bizarre. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Bye-bye.